Elliot Ackerman is a renowned American author and a former Marine Corps Special Operations team leader. He served five tours of duty in Iraq and Afghanistan, where he received several awards for his valor and courage. One of his most notable experiences was leading a Marine rifle platoon of 45 men during the Second Battle of Fallujah in 2004. This was one of the bloodiest battles of the Iraq War, where U.S. forces fought to retake the city from insurgents. During one night of the month-long battle, Ackerman and his platoon established a fighting position in a store. They were attacked by a large group of insurgents who tried to overrun their position. Ackerman and his men fought back fiercely, using rifles, grenades, and rockets. They managed to repel the attack and inflict heavy casualties on the enemy. For his actions that night, Ackerman was awarded the Silver Star, the nation's third highest award for combat valor. Ackerman also served as a special operations officer in Afghanistan, where he was the primary combat advisor to a 700-man Afghan commando battalion. He was responsible for planning and executing capture operations against senior Taliban leaders. He also led a 75-man platoon that aided in relief operations in post-Katrina New Orleans. Ackerman's war experience shaped his literary career, as he wrote several novels and memoirs based on his first-hand observations of conflict and its aftermath. His books have been critically acclaimed and nominated for prestigious awards, such as the National Book Award and the Andrew Carnegie Medal. He is also a contributing writer for The Atlantic and The New York Times, where he shares his insights on war, politics, and culture. Elliot Ackerman is an example of how a war veteran can turn his trauma into artistic success. He has used his skills and talents to create compelling stories that explore the human dimensions of war and its consequences. He has also used his voice to raise awareness and spark dialogue about the issues that matter to him and his generation of warriors. Elliot Ackerman is a writer, journalist, former White House fellow, and decorated veteran. He has written six books, including three novels and three memoirs, that draw on his experiences in Iraq and Afghanistan, where he served as a Marine Corps Special Operations Officer. His books have been nominated for the National Book Award, the Andrew Carnegie Medal in both fiction and nonfiction, and the Dayton Literary Peace Prize. After his military service, Ackerman became a journalist and covered conflicts in Syria, Turkey, Iraq, and Afghanistan for publications such as The Atlantic, The New Yorker, and The New York Times. He also worked as a fellow at the Council on Foreign Relations and as a White House fellow in the Obama administration. Ackerman's first novel, Green on Blue, was published in 2015. It tells the story of Aziz, a young Afghan boy who joins AU. Funded militia after his brother is injured by a Taliban attack. The novel explores the complex moral dilemmas of war and the role of foreign intervention in Afghanistan. Ackerman's second novel, Dark at the Crossing, was published in 2017. It follows Haris Abadi, an Iraqi American who tries to cross the border into Syria to join the rebels fighting against Bashar al-Assad's regime. Along the way, he meets Amir and Daphne, a Syrian couple who have their own reasons for staying in Turkey. The novel examines the themes of loyalty, betrayal, and identity in the context of the Syrian civil war. Ackerman's third novel, Red Dress in Black and White, was published in 2020. It is set in Istanbul during the 2013 Gezi Park protests and revolves around Catherine, an American woman who wants to leave her wealthy Turkish husband and take their son with her to the U. She enlists the help of Peter, an American journalist who has a secret connection to her past. The novel explores the political and personal consequences of their choices and the power dynamics of their relationship. Ackerman's first memoir, Places and Names, On War, Revolution and Returning, was published in 2019. It is a collection of essays that reflect on his experiences as a soldier and a writer in various conflict zones. He revisits some of the places and people he encountered during his deployments and interviews former enemies and allies. He also shares his insights on war, literature, and history. Ackerman's second memoir, the Fifth Act, America's End in Afghanistan was published in 2021.
it is a personal account of his involvement in the final stages of the U. Withdrawal from Afghanistan He chronicles his conversations with Afghan officials, Taliban leaders, American diplomats, and soldiers on both sides of the war. He also analyzes the causes and consequences of America's longest war and its impact on the region and the world. Ackerman's third memoir is expected to be published in 2022. It will be co-written with Admiral James Stavridis and will focus on their collaboration on their novel 2034, a novel of the next world war. The novel imagines a scenario where a cyber attack triggers a global conflict between the U. China, Russia, Iran, and India. The memoir will reveal how they came up with the idea for the novel and how they researched and wrote it together. Elliot Ackerman is not only a veteran of America's wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, but also a critically acclaimed author of novels and memoirs that draw on his war experience. In his literary works, he uses his first-hand knowledge of war to explore themes of identity, morality, loyalty, and love, and to challenge the stereotypes of war and its aftermath. Ackerman has written and published five novels, Asterisk Asterisk Green on Blue Asterisk Asterisk, Dark at the Crossing, Waiting for Eden, Red Dress in Black and White, and 2034, a novel of the next world war, and two memoirs, Asterisk Asterisk Places and Names, On War, Revolution, and Returning Asterisk Asterisk and the Fifth Act, America's End in Afghanistan. His books have been nominated for the National Book Award, the Andrew Carnegie Medal in both fiction and non-fiction, and the Dayton Literary Peace Prize among others. In his novels, Ackerman often writes from the perspective of characters who are different from him in terms of nationality, culture, religion, or gender. For example, in Green on Blue, he tells the story of a young Afghan boy who joins a US-funded militia to avenge his brother's death. In Dark at the Crossing, he portrays a disillusioned American veteran who tries to join the Syrian rebels but ends up in a complex relationship with a Syrian couple. In Red Dress in Black and White, he depicts a Turkish woman who wants to leave her husband and run away with an American photographer. In 2034, he imagines a world war that begins with a conflict between the US and China. By writing from these diverse viewpoints, Ackerman aims to humanize the people who are often seen as enemies or victims of war. He also tries to show the moral ambiguity and complexity of war, where there are no clear heroes or villains, but rather people who make choices based on their circumstances, beliefs, and emotions. He says that he writes to understand what he thinks, and that he hopes his readers will also question their own assumptions and prejudices about war. In his memoirs, Ackerman reflects on his own experience as a Marine Corps Special Operations team leader who served five tours of duty in Iraq and Afghanistan. He was awarded the Silver Star Medal, the Bronze Star with Valor, and a Purple Heart during his deployments. He also worked as a CIA officer on the Afghan-Pakistan border. In Places and Names, he recounts his journeys to Iraq, Syria, and Turkey as a journalist after leaving the military. He meets with former enemies, allies, activists, refugees, and ordinary people who are affected by the ongoing conflicts in the Middle East. He also revisits some of the places where he fought or witnessed violence, such as Fallujah, Helmand, and Aleppo. He tries to make sense of his role in these wars and how they have shaped his identity and worldview. In the fifth act, he examines the end of America's longest war in Afghanistan and what it means for those who served there. He interviews veterans, diplomats, politicians, journalists, and Afghans who share their stories and perspectives on the war's legacy and consequences. He also reflects on his own involvement in the war and how it changed him over time. Through his memoirs, Ackerman offers a personal and honest account of his war experience and its aftermath. He also provides a broader context and analysis of the wars he participated in and witnessed. He does not shy away from confronting the contradictions and challenges of war, but also acknowledges its allure and meaning for him and others. Elliot Ackerman is an author who uses his war experience to create literary works that are both compelling and insightful. He shows us that war is not only a political or military phenomenon, 
but also a human one that affects individuals and societies in profound ways. He invites us to join him in his quest for understanding war, revolution, and returning.